Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Piyush Agarwal and today I am here with a new video on Automate with Piyush which is for the next part that we are going to solve from bots DNA technology. So this time we are going with the school info bot. So I won't be wasting any time and directly jumping on to the requirements. So the requirement for this bot is again simple as the other bots. You have to download this master template.xlsx which is right over here then bot is to get the school code which is around there are multiple school codes given so let's pick up any school code over here copy this come over here and enter the school code click on search now when you click on search what is happening in the url it is adding the school code after the original url like right over here and open the dot html page of that so this is how the page the from the data is being visible now what what has to do it has to copy this school name it will come over here in the second column and rest of the details as well the school address phone number student strength so basically all these details need to be acquired and put it back into this excel okay so the problem is very simple now let's see how we are going to build it the first understand the business logic so the logic that we are going to build is that instead of doing the ui operation of entering the text over here in the school code field and clicking on search we are going to navigate to the browser using simple uh, navigate browser activity we can directly jump on to the required information page so that way our two ui operations would be reduced typing into that field and clicking on search button and as you know always in in an automation a background automation is way better than in front-end automation so this way our traversal part would be easy then the second part the second thing bot needs to do fetch this cool name simply a get text activity we will use and finally to extract this that we will be extracting this whole data table now the the best thing i found in this that easy uh, the trick to make it easy was that every value in the first column matches the column header in the data table so let's say it's school address so if you just remove this column the space from this then school address is same as the table header similarly principal name over here is same as this principal name i guess on both and the spelling of principal is incorrect so it's all it's also is a kind of indication that both these values in column headers are exactly same yeah we can take another one for example like the facilities it is matching right over here so the only difference between the column headers and the values in the column one on the website is just that a column and a space and another thing which is different is this student strength over here this is being called a student strength whereas in this sheet it is being called as number of student so these this is the only thing that we need to take care of while doing the development there is one more thing i uh, figured out when i was trying to develop this which was that uh, some of these column headers will have a certain space in it like right over here you can see there is a space character so that also we need to take care of while developing the bot because some will have some will not have any space characters so let's directly jump on to the bot and see the code walkthrough of this. So the start starting part would be same as usual. You have seen in most of previous videos. We are using a multiple assign to get the file path and file URL. Then closing the Chrome application, deleting any old file if it exists with the continuous error is true. Then I am launching the use application browser activity to launch the website with the input mode as simulate and resize window as maximize then comes the http request using which we are going to download the file if you seem that i am going with pass for these things so the reason is that this is a very simple bot that this is the other standard practices that we have been following for the dna bots website and almost in every board you would find the same things that we have applied so 
maybe you can watch the previous video which would be explaining this in more in detail in depth so for now http request activity i'm using with the file url in the request url bar and the resource path we have mentioned the top so once the file is downloaded we are going to read the whole data with the add data headers checked over here now for the part that i mentioned that some column headers might have a space character in front of them so for that we are using a for each for each item in uh, dt school data dot columns here the type argument would be system dot data dot data column and we what we are going to do we are going to remove the space from the column name so simply use an assign with left side item dot column name and right side would be item dot column name dot trim so that way all the column headers will not have any kind of space in front of them which is not required now comes to the main business logic in this process so we are going to iterate over this school data data table the input file we are using a go to url activity to move on to the next page to open that particular school code so the first half of the url is static then add the current row 0 to 2 string which is the first column of the excel and then concatenator dot html extension so that that way it will open the this required page okay once the page is open we are extracting the school name so here i can change this to school name and save it in a school name text box for this one i have not used any kind of anchor this seems very pretty much straightforward so i've just used the strict selector and fuzzy selector both almost similar with the tag header header one and css selector also similar one so once your school name is fast you can assign it into the current row current row bracket school name school name is the column name from the excel and just pass the trim value then we are extracting the whole data table to extract the data table i have used the table extraction wizard no changes anywhere else then for each record on this data table first we are taking the column header column header would be uh, this first column values without any colon or space so for that the logic is school record 0.2 string dot replace colon with string dot empty and trim it then if this particular column header exists in your data table columns like dd school data dot columns dot contains this column header then simply assign that current row column header value with the school record one dot two string so over here the school record is referring to the entry that we have fetched from the browser then in case the column header is not matching so that is uh, based on what i have seen is just for this uh, number of student that the column header is mis mismatching over here so for that we are going to use the student strength make sure that you don't write the student strength yourself you will write if you would do that then you would be writing the correct spelling of strength which is incorrect over here so just copy it up from here it does not have the g character in it i just saw that <laughs> right now so just column header dot equals student strength and if this condition is true then assign the current row number of student to the school record one dot two string so here when i say school record one so basically i am referring to these values because school record contains these each row then once this is also done your data table would be updated and what you can do we can you can set this extract data table to nothing so that when the bot moves on to the next transaction the new data table would be fetched there would be no won't be any kind of data from the previous transaction and then you can simply once your whole loop is complete over school record you can simply save the output to the different sheet say output sheet with dt school data and your output will look like something this having all the values so let me show you the bot in action and see how much time it is going to take after developing in this way so when i will run this bot it will it is automatically automatically going to delete this master template file 
and then recreate it so but still for the purpose of demo i am going to remove these files and close everything now let's run the bot and see how it works okay so the bot has started it is moving to chrome it has opened the school database uh, use case now in backend it must have downloaded the excel by now and has started to iterate over to all the pages so let's see how much time it is going to take i guess it should take uh, since the number of entries are less so it should not take more than a minute or something minute or half so let's see how much time the bot is going to take and uh, just uh, for sure since we have developed this bot in a simulated way definitely you can go through your studio or do anything again it is a kind of a background work simulate how simulate activities work in background so it won't affect your bot execution till it's running guys um, i just want to share that if you guys have any kind of doubts you can always reach out to me on linkedin or gmail and please share your views about if you like my videos or want some kind of different content on my channel or also if you want to collaborate with me on my channel that is also like what i'm planning in future so just let me know in the comment section and or reach out to me on my linkedin or on my gmail account all the details would be available in the description okay so the bot has stopped let's see so bot took about one minute and 25 seconds as expected and here is our master template file let's check it out if it's all good okay so this is our input file and if i go to output one here is our output now we can simply let's tally our data if it's proper or not so i'm going to check any value let's say this one let's replace it right over here and open so it's aurora public school so the name matches with the school address is matching the 1792 students yep so pretty much everything is cool with the database yes so that was all guys for this video if you like my video and more more videos around something if it is not there still yet please reach out to me and do like share and subscribe to my channel uh, looking forward to you guys please subscribe it and let me know your views if you like my video or not thank you guys see you in the next video